much. It's so much cheesy. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Soma Spider, So What? If you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. We are reacting to Soma Spider, So What? Episode 12. My battle has only just begun. Gun and you know what? In the last episode, Komoko, she was about to battle with Alaba. She just strategized. She observed him. She thought of ways of how to fight him, how to work with her weaknesses, trying to find his weaknesses, trying to work around his strengths and whatnot. And at the end of the episode, they showed us this title, and I'm like, please let the battle happen. In the next episode, please have it Kumoko and Araba. Do not change it to someone else. Please do not change it to someone else. Do not tease me with that title. We're going to find out if it's going to be this battle that we want. Well, damn, that battle started quick. あらばの来る。来る。戦闘開始in the last episode where she's like okay I can't really touch the ground because he can use that earth skill but I can fly I can see how she's flying I thought she was going to use her web to fly around but she's literally using the skill to like stand on the platform to be in the air but Araba is doing that too oh <laughs> it's like the battle of the skills <laughs>
の<笑> ダメージは与えられないけど、ありったけど Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I thought this was an Earth Dragon! Now he's using fire attributes? What the heck? You know, I just watched Black Clover and there's this guy who had a grimoire that was like a combination of diamond and fire. But it and now I'm watching this with like an earth dragon using fire. It's like What? <laughs> Besides that, it was really cool how she was guiding him into her web net. I call it a net because it wasn't really a web. It was more like a trap net kind of thing. That was really cool. And I'm assuming she used the pain skill because he has a regenerating skill. She was probably trying to hurt him mentally because you know how people get tortured for a really long time and they can't deal with the pain and they break i think she was trying to do that she was trying to break araba mentally <laughs> Yep, used up all his points to counter you. Girl, you are a worthy opponent. He used his points on you.
熟練度が一変化しましたスキル思考加速レベル10が思考超加速レベル1に進化しました予見レベル10が未来史レベル1に進化しましたよしけど私のレベルが上がるのはいいけどやつも新しいスキルを習得してる互いに成長するなら一致ごっこあーYou made a good point. She said that if they both keep developing skills, they'll just be going in circles, which is true because, bruh, he's like picking up skills while they're fighting. It's like what she said, cheater. <laughs> what a big cheater. Even though she picks up skills too, but he was already powerful. <laughs> ゲドウ大生まで<笑> Getting hardcore. チーム勝ち確かになってる。燃える橋で環境は最悪だったけど、切り切り戦えていたのは空中戦だったから。さっきみたいに壁についただけで反応様だし。地上戦なんかしたら一瞬で終わっちゃう。選択肢は。あのぶち切れたアラバと擦れ違って上に行くしかない。きついけどやるしかない。暑さで死んじゃうわけにはいかないんだよって。ちょいちょいに。
どうしないとやばいあんなもの食らったら消しすぎも残らないここまでかよくやったよあのあらばにここまでやったんだ帰りはいやまだな最後まで最後の瞬間まで諦めてやるもんかやつがブレスを打つ瞬間死滅のじゃがんで Come on, where's the level up? Where's evolving so we can heal, so we can regenerate the whole body again? Let's do this system. What happened? I was e skill. Wait, 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 wait. I need to go back and look at Sloth. Okay, Sloth. Percentage of the power necessary to achieve Godhood. Ooh, Godhood amplifies the depletion rate of system resource values and surroundings, excluding user. Additionally, grants the ability to exceed the W system and interfere with the MA field. <gasps> MA! MA! That's the thingy uh, in the prediction where they said, like, MA discovered. この戦いの勝利条件は SP を限界まで使わせることだったもともとあらばの HP を削り切るつもりはなかったあー状態異常も無効で物理も魔法も防御が熱いし回避もうまい。その上自動回復も早くて削るのが追いつかない一体どうすればおタイダは相手の HP、MP、SP の減りを加速させるこれだ HP、MP と違って SP は自動で回復する手段はないしそれに SP がゼロになれば生物は死ぬあらばは格下の私に全力でスキルを駆使してくれたそれが私の狙いだと知らずに派手に SP を消耗してくれたこいつが余裕を持って出し惜しみをして戦っていたら結果は違っていたと思う Wow, she really thought this out! Kumoku, you go, girl! Yes! I'm glad they didn't mention this in the last episode. Otherwise, I would have been looking for that. And it makes sense why she kept saying she wanted him to use all of his power on her. I, was, I thought she would say that because she wanted to be worthy of him to use all of his power. But she was actually trying to make him use him. Literally to run down the SP. <laughs> you go, girl. I could have bought you to tie Sega at the moment. No guard of the Maho gets to get a little work and I, you know, I know the Kitoru Nitaranai to Mino Gasta Komushini. Oh, it's made a little Kibu Matoda. But I see it all about Kisanta Konovaso de Anta Taos. Pokorio Toriba. SP はほとんどないはずほらな何さその目はあんたは私に負けたんだよもっと悔しそうな顔したらそんなことしたら<笑>ふ,ふざけるな何勝手に満足しちゃってるわけ全力を尽くした
げ捨てられるのよ<笑>終わりたくないって甘えている私をは必死で正義しがみついている私を私はなんなのよアラバー<笑>経験値が一定に達しましたレベル25からレベル29になりました宿敵アラバは倒した間違いなくこの私の手でけどなんでこんなに後味が悪いんだこの嫌な気分 I have a question My question is How come アラバ like just Dissipated, disappeared, turned into lights. What skill did she use? Normally, she eats her opponents. Ne, Baruto, a Luni so gushed a cot to order? Yeah, Kaino Luni Nara Adimusga, Joyshu Adimusin. Dione, does a son of your own house. Just a mucus. Okay, this has been on my mind ever since I thought this demon lord was Komoko. So these two people here. Yeah, these two people. The one with the glasses and the demon lord. They both got the same hair style. You know, they got the white bangs. You see this? This is what misleads people. This is what makes people think this is Komoko. ことがあるんだよね。さすがですね。チリュウとやり合ったなんて。うーん、もう、チリュウは掃除で埃が高い。あいつらきっと武士の血が流れてるに違いない。武士。はあ、気にしないで。こっちの話だから。いろんな竜
まあそれでも私は生きてるあらばを倒した今こんな暗い迷宮に思い残すことはないこれからは明るいお日様のもと明るい我が人生ならぬ雲星が待っているのだはい。The battle because Kumoko wasn't, you know, that OP s i s e k a i character. Like, she was dying. She was getting hurt. Like, that part when she got impaled, I was like, oh, damn, this is realistic. And I like the parts where she had like really close calls. Like, she had like a fire below her, and then she was stuck in the ceiling. And That had potential that Alaba was going to like do that earth skill on her, you know, the spike thing that happened later on. <laughs> like, you could have just like done a lot of like spikes from the ceiling to like hurt her because she's literally trapped there. But besides that, <clears throat> this battle was so good. Like, there were so many strategies that she did, and I liked how. She did some stuff that was not mentioned in the previous episode. Oh man, it was so good. Like, and remember on the last episode where I was like, please have this battle on the next battle. Please, please do not tease me and say my battle has only just begun and switch it to shoot. Please don't switch it to shoot. And they didn't. They kept it on our Spider Girl, and it was. Fabulous. Oh, such a good battle. Oh, so good. But I did feel bad for her when she was getting frustrated that Araba was like, okay, you know, I lost. I lost to this spider. I am ready to die. No regrets. And to me, I think it's because it's sort of that survival of the fittest, natural selection. This is the way of the labyrinth. You know, you either. Die or you kill, kind of thing. But because Kamoko is part human, used to be human, she has that human mentality. She had more emotions. She thought more critically versus, you know, a beast that just thinks about surviving. That's what sets her apart from the other monsters and such. She still has that mentality while monsters think like animals. Besides that, what did you think about this episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. The link is available in the description. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash lehulo superfina. People who watch these videos do stop by the stream so we can talk about these animes, episodes, have that one on one real time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, the link to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this was a Superfina channel reacting to Soma Spider So What episode 12. My battle has only just begun. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.